Hey, this will be a video chart on GOIG. I've uh, done this one many times. Can't remember the last time I did it. Um, sorry to the people, I have been getting a, a ton of requests on this one, but just I'm now getting around to it. And I kind of want to see how it acted today, anyways, if I'm honest, because uh, yesterday was kind of a, a wishy washy situation in the sense of the price was approaching this um, 50 day cent. We were going to average here this purple line, and I wanted to see how it would react. Um, if and when it got up there, obviously it did get up there. You can see it was uh, temporarily above it uh, intraday, uh, but then uh, the price did pull back here, and uh, so that kind of answered a lot of questions. And the reason I wanted to see uh, how it would react around the 50-day is if we extend down the chart. I'm not sure what the history is. Okay, if we extend down this, and I'm sure I've talked about this in past ones, but uh, this 50-day, you know, bluntly put, is just you know a pain in the neck. Uh, towards this chart, you can see that uh, multiple times now the price has run up. There's a first time and knocked down the price. So uh, maybe most effective to see it just kind of do something like this. So you can see price ran up, bumped its head on it, head on it dropped down. Okay, here is another price, you know, got up right around that 50 day, got knocked back down. Here's another bounce, got up right next to that 50 day, got knocked down. And then here we are again. So, so far it's looking like history may be repeating itself and that's okay if certain circumstances can hold unlike in the past. Every time in the past it's got knocked down, it's gone down and the lower lows have not been able to hold up. So if we look back here, it came up here and when it pulled back, these were the lower lows you can see it did do a good job originally of holding at the lower lows but it never put in a higher low what would be ideal is had it come down here and then when it bounced down that might have been the new low and then it was able to carry on but it came down bounced and then when it came down again after getting rejected a second time could not hold up and fell back below and that's been the case every time so um, it's not necessarily a bad thing that uh, the price got rejected here um, as it would probably be expected just because of the past history of the chart. The important thing is how is it going to hold up? Is it going to drop all the way back down here or is it going to put in a, a higher low? And um, you know where does that higher low have to be? You know That's definitely subjective. There's no uh, exact right answer to that one. Um, but in my opinion, I would personally like to see it hold up uh, right here um, where the high of this candle which is at uh, 0.005. Now why this level? Well uh, for one, it was a previous high and a previous resistance. And the other reason being, if we can maintain this level, that would also imply that we are maintaining uh, this line here, which is the 20-day simple move and average, or the same thing as the middle Bollinger Band. So uh, right now, this is valued at 0 0.00497. So 0 0.005, close enough, will round up. Uh, so this is the level where ideally it can hold. I'd like to see it hold up above there. Now, if it can't. You know, not the end of the world. You know, there's still some other supports below us. Uh, the next area of support would be right around this area here. Once again, previous high. So this would be another area of support. But then the must hold, no questions asked, is going to be down here once again at 0 0.003. And the simple reason for that, it's just the previous low and previous lows needs to be able to hold up it couldn't do it here and you saw the results and um, once again you know I know nobody wants to see it come all the way down here uh, but if it were you know at least it wouldn't be putting in a lower low we know we'd have to wipe out the whole you know putting in a higher low thing but uh, you know media or breaking even rather than putting in a lower low I'm sure everybody would rather just have it stay above here uh, but best case would be it for it to stay right above here because like I said that would imply that it stays above this 20-day simple moving average and as that would begin to curl up like the 10-day has uh, that would show that the trend has started to go um, bullish. In terms of resistance, resistances, excuse me, uh, to be honest I'm not even going to really talk about that just because let's first just get above and start to get some closes above this 50-day. If we can do that then I'll start to map out some other uh, resistance levels but for now history of the chart shows this has been just a huge level uh, to try to get through so um, for now all anybody really needs to know in terms of resistances is that this 50 day simple moving average is the key level uh, that we want to see if the bulls can push through and not only push through because they did push through today but we need to see them close above it um, that's an important part when we're looking at the daily chart 
So if there are any other questions on the chart, uh, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards up to or down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. Uh, we've been making good money together with our alerts. So I'd encourage you to head to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was G-O-I-G. Thanks for listening.